freaking papa police. Ah. I mean, it's, it's really bad. I put chalk on my skirt. So now we're going to go sew them together. Look at this. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is the end of August, and everyone knows what that means, right? The beginning of Halloween season. So, you know what I've been doing? I got another new machine. You should pan down and show them. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you went too far. It's too much. I was waiting. It's too I'm, many I'm, slices. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. I got a sewing machine. Get out of here. Brother. I got, <laughs> I got a sewing machine, and last night I achieved something so great, so fantastic, so out of this world, and I, I'm ready for the next step. Uh, so last night I did my first ever <laughs> stitches with my brand new sewing machine. Look at this top one. It's supposed to look like a chain. I'm dead over it. And then the polka dot one, hold so on. cool, huh? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 look at this top one. It's a chain. It's fabulous. It's, it really is. That's the perfect word for it, fabulous. And then the second one down is polka dots, shut up. And then the bottom one, swirly. Swirly. Freaking swirlies. The first ever artsy madwoman stitch. I'm ready. So, with three stitches out of the way, she's ready to make a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a pattern on Etsy. I'm so excited. It's got puffy sleeves. It's pleated. I don't even know what that means, but it is. I'm pretty pumped about it. And you know what? We went to Joann's to get fabric and stuff. Your freaking spooky bitch had to get spooky fabric. We're gonna make a spooky dress. Yes. I'm so excited. Can they see the back? They can. Oh, the bats are the, my favorite. And then the cats, and the moths, and the skulls, and the potion bottles. Oh, and the crystals, and the stars. This is the cutest fabric ever. We're going to make a dress. And it's going to be a Halloween dress, and I'm very excited about it. It's got this, like, mm, sassy, like, queen bitch vibe. Can you guys imagine? Like, pants and a jacket this fabric that's actually like a really interesting idea so instead of dressing up like in a costume for like costume i don't know why i said it like that for halloween we just dress up but in halloween fabrics <laughs> <laughs> yes that sounds awesome yes yeah that's it oh the bye george we've got it <laughs> that's it yeah. what it's time All right, so I have the important documents. The important documents being a pattern for a dress. So this is what we're gonna be going for. Is it way too ambitious? Am I biting off way more than I can chew? Probably. This dress is by Daria Pattern Making. I got this off of their Etsy shop. So if you end up wanting to make this exact dress yourself, you can go to their website, which is dariapatternmaking.com, or their Etsy shop where I got it was Daria Pattern Making on Etsy. They also have an Instagram. Let's actually get into this. So I measured my bust, waist, and hips, and have figured out my size. Here it is le pattern so it looks like the pattern has to be assembled by trimming and folding the page margins and taping them together all right you know when you like overthink literally everything like make everything way too complicated i just did that for like 10 minutes by trimming or folding the page margins and taping them together 
What is what what, what does that mean? <laughs> The plans. All right, so 28 pages all taped together. I did not know that this is how uh, this is this is how you do it. But we're actually going to be cutting out all of these pieces. This is going to take me 10 years because I'm going to want it to be perfect. Ta-da! Piece number one. I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these pieces out. All right. We have all the pieces cut out. Now I think it's time to cut the pieces of fabric. I have one piece laid on the fabric. The fabric is folded in half, so we're basically going to get one continuous piece of this shape. And I'm assuming that this is to go around like your whole center part. So that makes sense to have, you know, one continuous piece. So the fold is on this side. So the fold is here. So I was, I was a little confused about something. Um, it says the fabric should be folded in half along the grain line, which on this says the grain line is that straight up and down arrow. And that arrow is right here. And I think this is right. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cut this freaking fabric and I'm so nervous about it. Oh my God, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna do it. I'm so nervous. We're doing it. We're cutting it. Oh my God. Whew. Nice, nice. Sorry it's so kind of like dark and spooky in here, but I do feel like it adds to the vibe of this video. So here is our piece of fabric. And so uh, this is what I'm assuming it's gonna be for because we have these little like sort of indented lines on the sides and I feel like that is where the arm is gonna go. And then we also obviously have a different piece for the back. All right, everybody, I just cut the wrong piece. So some pieces needed to be cut like on the fold. The piece I cut just needs to be two pieces, which is fine to fix. I can just cut it in half. But there are other pieces that do need to be cut the way that I cut that last piece, like on the fold, so that it is one continuous piece. And that one wasn't one of them. So now, just to figure out which pieces actually do need to be on the, oh my gosh, look at that. There's a little, see, I feel like I'm overthinking so much because once I actually like look at the pieces, they kind of say it. Oh, and they're labeled. I was like, why aren't they labeled? They are. I'm just a freaking idiot, dude. Okay, B1, two pieces. Does not need to be on the fold, fabulous. All right, you guys ready for my bad news? So this is the skirt part. This I do need to cut on the fold. I need one continuous piece of this. And as you can see right on the corner here, my fabric ends here. So I don't have enough. It's because the fabric doesn't go wide enough for my size, which is super fun and awesome. And so I, I was folding it long ways because of the pictures, you know, like the little, the design of it. I want you know, when it's hanging on me, I want it, you know, hang straight, like face you, like it's facing you now. From end to end on this piece of fabric, it needs to be wider to accommodate more sizes. Here's my pattern. Again, we're pretending that there is enough. If I do it like this, then this is how the fabric will face once the skirt is on. So it'll face sideways rather than facing, you know, straight on. So like, what if I cut two of those shapes? Obviously I'll have to get more fabric, that's not an issue. But if I cut two of those skirt shapes, leave a little bit of extra as like a seam line, and then just pretend that they're one continuous 
piece like they should be so that the pattern is straight. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And really that's not that bad, but still Joanne, come on. All right, even though I can't cut the rest of the skirt right now, I do have this. I'm supposed to like iron on some stay tape along the top, <laughs> along the top of the bodice. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that means. Like I don't even, anyway, okay, I'm gonna open this. I don't know, man. What's going on? Okay, so I've ironed on. Why do I feel like this was the wrong thing? What the fuck? Anyway, now I've got some kind of clear situation going on on the top. All right, so welcome to my sewing machine. Here it is. I have threaded my bobbin. And then I shoved it into this teeny tiny little compartment, cubby hole, secret trap door thing. And then I threaded the needle. Which is honestly pretty cool. So now I have a couple of pieces of fabric that I think should be sewed together. And we're gonna sew them together. Okay. Show me yourself. But look at that. Look at that. That there is a seam. Look at that. What is this for? Don't ask me. Stitch the centerpiece and the sides of the front bodice. I'm losing my mind. How are they so straight? Oh god. Oh, right. Well, I was just so freaking excited right now. Uh, this seam is much better than my first one. Whoa! Crazy things happened at the front, you know? We ignore them. Alright, so we're back and I'm trying to fix some mistakes that I made yesterday. So, I am ironing on interfacing. I've just learned how to use the steam function on my iron, fucking look out, <laughs> this is a weapon. So we're gonna fold it in half. Pieces are pinned. I am going to now cut them out. Fabulous. Wow, look. Give them to you. My piece of fabric has interfacing in it. Yay. Two of each. Fabulous. We've done it. Hey. Look at that. Look at it. Now these pieces are connected. And they're wow. symmetrical and everything. All right. Pin the pleats on the main fold bodice panel. Where are my pins? So like the center one goes over and then they just keep going oh, over. Is that how it works? Yeah. I'm pleading. Real though. Who was like, I'm gonna really complicatedly that's a word. Fold fabric until it looks like an accordion. Dude. Can you believe this? Look up! Freaking pa pa pleats! Pleats! Wow, 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 Pleats! Look at them and they're actually like doing it. I've done it! You can sew over needles. Can you? That's so weird. We are about to sew the pleats. Oh. 
The needle broke. Oh no, did it? Yeah, from hitting another needle. That's Technical good. difficulties, we will be right back. <laughs> Press the needle position button twice. Oh. Uh, We've already done that. Yep, that's already done. Place fabric or paper under the presser. Fabulous. Press the lock button that you've already done. Make sure <laughs> nothing can happen. Okay, hold the needle with your left hand. The needle? Yes. Oh, okay. Then use a, a screwdriver to turn the needle clamp screw toward you. Oh, look at that. Same one. Yay. Fabulous. So with the flat side of the needle toward the rear of the machine. And it's stabbing me. <laughs> ah, I you, got it. <laughs> using the screwdriver, tighten the needle clamp screw by turning it clockwise. All right. Yay. And that's it. All right. We're back. Needle has been replaced and threaded. I've also taken out those big chunky needles um, that were holding the pleats in place. And I've replaced them with like thinner sewing needles. So I'm hoping that uh, we don't break another freaking needle. Look at it. My goodness. I mean, it's a little messed up right now, but... We're also going to iron it once the bottom part of the pleating is done. So now we kind of have to repeat everything that we just did. All right, you guys, the pleating is done. I have sewn both the top and bottom, and this is what the pleating looks like. I don't think I did that bad for my very first time. Like, they're not perfect, but they're also kind of good. So I'm just going to iron them a little bit to kind of get them to be flat and find their shape a little bit better. So now we're going to take one of these sleeve things. I'm going to sew it onto the pleated section that we just did. Fabulous. All right, now we're going to do the other side. Fabulous. We have sewed on. Is it sewn or sewed? Let me know. I've done the things and we have some straps on. Okay, so now we're supposed to take this, the back side, and attaching it here. So what I have just done is, I think it's called under stitching. Well, hold on, let me back up. So, so this is the back of my pleating, and I took some of those bodice pieces that we sewed together earlier i'm showing this like a ding dong and i stitched it over the front that's that's the explanation that you get and look at this we have some boob covering some boob coverage with some straps it's it's coming together you guys holy moly some straps yeah a lot of yeah right, right man. my first time pleading. oh my god we All right, you guys, excuse the level of not cute that I am right now, but we have finished step one. <laughs> All of this was step one. Okay, so pleating is done. Look how ah, it actually fits. Like it feels like it is the correct size for me. You know what I mean? Can you believe this? I basically made like a little like a little bathing suit top or something. Look at it. Part one. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> All right. We're moving on to the back piece. I'm pinning it. Um, I think where the like waist is going to be. These pins don't work for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna mark them with this pencil. All right, we're busting out the zipper. It made a little notch in the fabric where the zipper ends. All right, so I'm just ironing on some interfacing where the zipper is gonna be going. <gasps> I did it on the wrong side. No! <laughs> I've cut a new piece of interfacing, and you know what? This one's better.
15. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Bum, 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 bum. What? Holy That's shit. what the sewing machine was saying. That's pretty fucking <laughs> Did I tell you I broke another needle yesterday? No, you didn't. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. You'll see. <laughs> oh, I heard it. <laughs> Here we go. So like, how are you, why? Why are you doing that? I wanna know, can you show me? I wanna know, why do you keep fucking doing that? <laughs> I've done it. Look at this last part. Look at this last oh, little section here. Oh, shit. That looks pretty nice, huh? It does. What? Don't look at everything else. Look, we have a sleeve. And it's got poofs on the top. Um, they're not, you know, they're not done, like, super correctly, but ask yourself, is it a poof? Because the answer is yes. But we're going to catch up the other sleeve because all I've really done to it is done the seam, so I kind of, like, connected the piece, and then I did the, whatever you'd call this. The hem? Yeah, the hem. I'm confused already. <laughs> nope, I think I got it. Okay, here we go. Tell everybody I'm on my way. <gasps> look, there it is. I think that's there it is. Oh my god, look at that. You're seeing the good version. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at this poof sleeve. We might have to fix it because I do feel like the way that this one sits is more poofy than this one. Whoa, this one's yeah. sitting right on my hand. This yeah, one's just, great. yeah, right? This is the right one. This is the incorrect one. So I could just pull it all out and do it again. Over. We've got this. We're going to do this. It's going to go well. I do have to take the needles out before I can sew this because I've broken two needles. Yay! Look at that! We did it! Look at that! Nice oh. little puff sleeve! So we went to Joanne's and got more fabric. And now we are back to the skirt, which I can't remember if I told you, but the gist of the idea is that I'm going to cut two pieces for the skirt and then sew them together and pretend then I cut them on the fold. So we've kind of flipped over the pattern so that we get a mirrored piece to the other piece that we've already cut. And yes, we did cut extra seam allowance to allow for this seam. Ta -da! A tomato. Um, I was thinking after we got this, while this was only five bucks, I probably should have gone on Etsy and found like a jack-o'-lantern one. You know yeah. there's a jack-o'-lantern one. Yeah. You know it. I know it. You know it. Now, we have the other piece of the skirt. Woo! We have our two pieces of the skirt sewed together uh, and we're pretending that they're one now. Because we are also pleating the skirt. This is a pleated skirt, everyone. There are pleats on every single piece of this dress. My tomato! And now, we shall pin. No. And now I'm marking it on this side. Marked and ready to go. Is there even really anything to see? Yeah, they can see it. I put chalk on my skirt, so now we're gonna go sew them together. Make pleats. Come over here. Come on. We're gonna make pleats over here. The pleating station. Welcome to my pleating station. Oh, you deflated yourself anyway. Good. That's what I wanted. 
Okay, last pleat, thank God. Sheesh. All right, so with the skirt done, I can't quite show you right now because I've already pinned it, but I have the front bodice piece. So this that has all of the pleats that we did is pinned to the skirt that we now have. And I've lined up their edges so that we can sew them together. We're gonna have a whole front piece. All right, here we go. Okay, so with that sewed together, now kind of hold this up, which is the worst view of this you've ever seen. Oh my God. What do you think? That looks so good. Right? Not bad. It's gonna be like this. Dude, oh my God, that seam too looks so good. Fab, so we have the front. Look at this. Oh my God. This is so cool. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have a zipper. The zipper has been installed and it is functional. Look at that. Greatest demonstration of a zipper you've ever seen in your life, no doubt. Which also means my two back pieces are sewn together. This two-legged cat with a tail and a head is like giving me life. I love him so much. It's all coming together, guys. I'm getting like really giddy. I'm like really, really excited. Next thing that we're gonna do is, and I've already pinned it, um, but we're gonna sew on these back straps. So I have them pinned already and this is where we're going to be sewing them. So let's do that right now. We're joining the front and the back. That's the tap. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Ready? There's a cute face I was looking for. <laughs> go. Oh, sorry. We've done it. One side stitched. Now we're going to do the other side. the moment where she stitched her sweater to the dress. <gasps> Get out of here! I've done it. I think we have to go over these seams again with yeah. the zigzag. Alright, we'll be back after the zigzag. Zag. Alright, we're actually nearing the end. Can you even believe it? The next step is to attach the sleeves that we've already made. So here are the sleeves. I've already started pinning it to the dress, like at the seams. I think this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm showing you nothing. We're gonna sew the sleeves on. All right, y'all. <laughs> 18 pages later, 28 pages for the pattern later. So, so many pleats later. So many needle stabs to the fingies. And we finally have our dress. <laughs> well, here is, here's the reveal of my very first piece of clothing that I made. My very first sewing project. Reveal of my artsy Halloween dress.
right, we are, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> We've made this dress. I mean, look at it. This was such a big project. And again, and maybe some of you are annoyed with me saying like, ah, this is my first time sewing. But this was my first time sewing something. We went from these little stitches to this, a pleated dress. <laughs> with puff sleeves oh sorry about that my necklace i bet that was bothering some of you i'm 100 percent wearing this on halloween there will probably be more spiders around maybe even one on my face for halloween this is my halloween co i made my halloween costume well it's not really a costume my i made my halloween dress but anyway <laughs> freaking look at me <laughs> Look at me. It's like changing my whole demeanor, you know. I'm just like, I'm so fancy. I'm, I'm, you know, skipping through the garden in the rain and picking up little spiders on my fingers and, and putting them in my hair. And I'm just some creepy person in the garden. When I uh, first put this dress on, like sort of to do a fitting, when I first did um, the side seams, I did a fitting. And when I first put this dress on, I got... I know it sounds weird, but I kind of got emotional about it because <laughs> I a lot of things hit me all at once and I just want to take a moment to say how much I appreciate you being here and you know what? I did this last week, didn't I? But I don't mean to do this every single week. It's just when I put this dress on, let me just get this out. When I first put this dress on, I got emotional because, you know, I pictured like kid me or teenage me uh, seeing this and this and you i don't know what they would say they i mean teenage me didn't think i was gonna make it to 25 and i think making clothing has always been something that i like really really would love to do but i never thought i would be able to do it like it was just one of those things where i was like that's not attainable that's not like something i'll i'll be able to do but it would be cool and the fact that i just like did these stitches and was like you know what i'm just gonna go for it and try it and see what happens and we ended up with a dress that fits me i don't know i just did this thing that i never thought i'd be able to do in this space that i never thought i'd be able to have for you when I never thought I would have. So anyway, before I get uh, emotional again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel, and follow me on Pinterest, TikTok, and Instagram. <laughs> it is at Artsy Madwoman. You can become a member of this channel where we do bonus videos, soon coming uh, bonus streams, we got emotes and badges, and you also get members only posts where I reveal things to you guys first before anybody else. Like the merch that just dropped, the Halloween, the, the Halloween Artsy Madwoman merch that yours truly drew up herself. <laughs> I drew up this design completely myself, and I am thoroughly obsessed with it. Here's what it looks like. And we also have more than just shirts for this design. So I think I did mugs and stickers and magnets, I think, and sweatshirts and crew necks and long sleeve shirts. I think it's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. Link to become a member and link to get the merch is down in the description. <laughs> I love you guys to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>